da ba ba ba. What the fuck you think of McDonald's? Anyway, man, it's your boy Dan V. Cuz and News right here. We'll pull it live, man. You see, we ain't got Jenzel here, but we do got Elway. And we do got Damo. And we got my boy Smack Life in the back. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Danby Shout out to That's they they both they both part of the team, bro. They both part of the team. So they ain't no ain't no like we you know what I'm saying, we kicking a nigga out. No, no, that's still our cameraman too. But Smack Life is our cameraman too. You know what I'm saying? Danby Affiliates can't make it. Uh so Shout out to Slab Lab Recorders, man, for this right here. Pull up to them. You can follow them at Slab Lab. What is that? Slab Lab SLR? Slab. SLR or something like that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You just look up Slab Lab. Just find Slab Lab. Y'all going to find it. Pull up, man. The hottest damn V robbers. Pull up for this. You know what I'm saying? Pull up to this studio right here. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely want to be a part of this right here. But we're going to get straight to the stories and the discussions, man. Let's go ahead. What's the first one? Hey, hey Glizzy. And Davey Ruffin. Ruffin. This shit been going on for like over a month, like probably what, two months now? This shit been going on longer than the Rona. Yeah, no bullshit. Nah, for real. And so y'all haven't seen, you know what I'm saying, niggas been pulling up tomorrow, I'm right here, you know what I'm saying, and Glizzy pulling up on, you know what I'm saying, where, 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 where Davey allegedly lives at and shit, or where he say he live at. Allegedly, right. You know what I'm saying, where, you know what I'm saying, where he be at, and then pulled up around there, he wasn't there, and, like what's really going on between these two, man? I mean, uh, Donald, give 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 me your perspective on this. I want to hear it first, forever. Yikes! All right, I'm so look that off there for real. I I would like to say this first and foremost, all y'all, everybody out there in the world on the internet, I would like to hope that this is just some internet shit. At this point, I just feel like it's some internet shit. Mm -hmm. No disrespect to either man, I just feel like they are manipulating the internet and they're. Building up their brands off of this, which, which is what is, the industry do. Yeah, and industry people do it all the time. So in that aspect, yeah. if that's what they doing, I hey, I salute it wholeheartedly because yeah. I would hate to see somebody really get hurt behind just some internet shit. Yeah. So with the way that they're doing it, it just seemed like they just running it up because I don't see nobody dropping a location and doing everything being on the internet because this is. This would be a walk in self indictment if somebody really got hurt behind this. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that it's going to go that way. I mean, our city small is on the way. You can run into a nigga at a McDonald's, a gas station. You know what I'm saying? DC is not that big. So for these niggas to keep missing each other at this point, I just feel like it's entertainment. Y'all should take it as entertainment. Ant call his shit Bid TV. To Bid means to just, it's not real. You feel what I'm saying? It's a Bid. It's joning, it's, it's, it's doing it off of somebody. It's a Bid. Davey called his shit Spank TV. Spank just joining. It's fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody watching, don't take it too deep. Don't take it too serious. I hope that it's just what it is on some internet shit. You know what I'm saying? For both parties. No, because, you know what I'm saying? Like, on a personal note, like, I fuck with Davey more. I never met um, uh, um Slim. I never met Aunt Glizzy. I have know Davey. We've been around each other. We've had conversations. You know what I'm saying? Slim is a solid dude as far as I'm concerned of what I've seen. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out Blau and, you know what I'm saying, my other good man over there on Moore's Road. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know y'all. Like, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, me looking at it, because we everybody watching. So, for you to say, I act like, oh, I'm above this and I'm not watching. You've seen it. We watching. Like, I just hope that you know, people I'm are watching for entertainment and not watching to really see somebody get hurt. Because I see some of these comments and all that smoking on this and all that disrespecting people, mothers and all that. Like, that's where it goes too far for me personally. I don't feel like I could play with somebody on the Internet like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To each his own, though. You know what I'm saying? I just know me. I'm not going to disrespect your mother because I don't want you to disrespect mine. No, for real. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to play with your kids because I don't want you to play with mine. Like, it's certain lines that I'm not going to cross as a man. But if there's an understanding between two people and they're like, all right, well, look, man, we're going to do this, da, 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 da. At the end of the day, look at their impressions. Five million impressions on one side. Four million impressions on another yeah, side. 11,000. 11,000. <laughs> 11,000 people in the live. You know no, what I'm saying? Really? Like, all of this is like, just look at it. They're posting their numbers. So for me, I'm like, I'm not posting every step. I'm not posting my car on the internet. I'm not posting my location. And I'm not posting all this if this is, <coughs> if it's real. You know what I'm saying? So... Mm -hmm. You know, y'all don't feed too deep into it. Let the internet be the internet. You know what I'm saying? And for real though, that's where like, if that is his house, that is his car, all of this stuff, it gotta be fake though. I, I really feel like it is now. But if it's not though, I can't involve my mother, 
say you smoking on my dead hump, like anything like that, like that's personal. I can't do it for no clout. So mm -hmm. I mean, to each his own though. And it's I wild because it really be the comments, Davey. So yeah, it really be the comments. Like it's more so the comments. And I ain't saying everybody. Some people just did the bid. A lot of people, the majority of people just did laughing and having fun with it. But I see these fake pages, and some of these be real pages, just say some of the most disrespectful stuff, and it's the sideline. Like, like y'all really know them, though. Like. Yeah, and I'm like, damn, like, so I want y'all to be clear. I'm not saying each, either person, I'm not speaking on what they did, because I haven't watched this mm -hmm. every play by play. I don't know all the details. What I'm saying is that when I do pop in one of their live, and I look at the comments, and I'm like, this person talking about somebody girlfriend or this person talking about somebody dead homie y'all saying this in the comments and i'm like that's where it get out of hand because if they just did and they gotta understand that like y'all gotta just let it be what it is and yeah. just enjoy it don't don't just leave y'all laughing the most. because don't they gotta be the same ones if something let's say it was real and then something happened and then y'all to be the same ones oh rest in peace man people gotta stop killing each other y'all you know what i'm saying so mm. cut the fake shit if you gonna hype it up don't hype it up and then hide your hand and act like you was innocent you know what I'm saying? That's the shit for me. It's the comments for me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And like my man, like my man Jimmy said on his live today, man, like you gotta think like who looking up to that though, like even if they are doing it for their own reasons and stuff though, but you got the youth and the youngins really looking at this stuff. Jay Z Riff said it too. He said, Man, you gonna really have these youngest thinking it's cool to just pull up somebody to somebody's house saying, I'm outside, I'm this. Like we are like it's some Chicago stuff. Like that's really what this look like. Damn, it yeah. looked like Chicago. Like what Chicago been doing this for a while. Mm -hmm. Little JoJo on Twitter saying, "Oh, I'm outside and different things like that." Like leave that to to them. That's not us. Nah, for real. Come on, that's 2020. God damn, man. But all I'm gonna say is, man, if it's real and it's real, like people say, it's real. Just leave them, leave them guns. Leave, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Leave everything else alive. We don't want nobody to die from this situation. We just. Just, 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 just box it out for real. Fight it out, man. Ain't you know nothing wrong with that. And Glizzy made the offer for twenty bands, so I don't know if somebody got that money. I ain't putting up no twenty bands for the fight, but end of the day, you know what I'm saying. If somebody feel like it's a good investment, let's do it. I mean, end of the day, I mean, and Glizzy Live did do eleven thousand, so at least half of that's probably going, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we been in the shade room, bro. Yeah, I was on the shade room. Baby I, was on the shade room too. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout, Shout out my baby. baby. Shout out baby. baby. He he got on shade room for the sunflower seeds, the pickle egg, and the um the hot sausage blend. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The ghetto that joint went viral. He was on the news too. They had him on um yeah, I think yeah. Channel Nine or pickle something like that. Yeah, shout out Bebe, man. But That's... you was on the shade room too. Yeah, I got tagged in that joint, man. Cause um I posted this, a discussion. They said DMV is the most fashionable area than any other state. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even think I was just posting the joint. The joint just went on there. I thought it's sweet. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, it was just like. And then like a bunch of New York niggas, like you know what I'm saying? A bunch of New York niggas was just like, like just went in. They be hating for real. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my good New York man. Shout out to New York, York man. Let's be y'all. Day Day GQ. Shout so the only out reason why everybody think y'all the fashion capital of the world because y'all got more media and the more That's attention all, on y'all. But niggas know when they came like every time. A bra, a female, I ain't gonna say bra, a female came down from out of town, they came to DC, they always say it, man. DC dudes know how to dress, DC girls fashion on point. Like, like it's always been like that. So all that talk, I don't even wanna hear that. Like, you know what I'm saying? We just had go go and stuff, you so we saying? wasn't as popping though. Yeah, y'all popping. Y'all got the biggest rappers and all that. Y'all was, it's our time now though. Y'all yeah. can take Whoever y'all want, y'all take a, a, a hood, a, a regular hood youngin from Brooklyn, from from let's say Gates or Northern Ave, right? And you, we take a young nigga from Southeast, Northeast, Northwest, Southeast, yeah. from the hood, right? And we put them side by side. <clears throat> I guarantee you, this New York dude, if he not from Harlem, he probably gonna have on some Tims, a big ass fitted hat, white tee. In the, in the Probably a white tee, depending on the weather. He might have a little pelly pelly leather or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, some regular jeans. Some bl bl bright blue jeans. Man, we so that's them. not our dress code. Y'all might identify us with 990s and 993s and shit like that. That's cool, but we 
we just put our shit together. We just built different. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, like, y'all can't, y'all might not accept it. It's cool. Fashion. Y'all want to have a fashion little battle. I, I want that trans, I want that challenge right here. Y'all can't even rock Tim's like me. I got the Tim's on right now. Don't put them on right now. My, my Tim's y'all fucked up. <laughs> but I'm saying, I got the Tim's on right now. But we rock the Tim's better than y'all. Keep yeah. it honey with you. Yeah. Keep it on honey. We rock the Tim's better than y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We not big on the Tim's, but there's a couple niggas that rock Tim's. Like, we rock them. We crack them. I forgot the do rag too. They you know what what oh, yeah, definitely the do rag. You know what I'm saying? Definitely do They got the jump down. I got my do rag on. That jump. You know what I'm saying? Y'all had some fly niggas. Y'all had some fly niggas in New York. Y'all got some fly dudes, but I'm just saying overall. Y'all ain't nobody messing with us. We're talking about dress. Dress. Nah. We some fly motherfuckers. And then like think about it. We always stand out. Like even in school, like every HBCU go every HBCU you go to. You always know who the group of people from DC or Maryland mm-hmm. is. You just Specifically always... DC. We just different for real. We got our own little swag all over. It's just different. And the ladies love it. Yeah. Because we different. We ain't like nobody else. Yeah. Facts. We ain't industry in the Nas. Nah, they ain't even yeah. a word. They used to be like, man, when I was in John Cole, they used to be like, man, DC, DC. And I give the props too. They said Philly was, DC and Philly was the best dress in that joint. So. Best. Dressers, basketball yeah. players, football even, players. Even Kanye West would tell you. DC He's from Blacks. Chicago, but yeah, yeah, he that last you, show. He got his, we stamped it. Like, he until Stamp he got that. his fashion sense I from us. I posted it myself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Kanye West got his fashion sense from being around us. We, we, we make fashion statements, and we don't even have all the big name designers, need the stores it. like y'all got. We got ours. You know what I'm saying? We got ours and make we it look make good. Us, we make our own so selves look sweet. Y'all want to smoke? So whatever with DMV this, with versus we NYC. We do this. We fly. DMV versus NYC. Don't let a bunch of don't let a bunch of uptown dudes. We definitely spanking. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now it's fly dudes everywhere. Don't get it twisted. Our regular hood niggas look like y'all look like y'all lit rappers. Our regular hood niggas look like y'all lit rappers. Nah, it's regular niggas from the hood. Mm-hmm. We looking sweet. You can And tell. we don't need no. Oh yeah, no designer too. We don't need none of that. And I bet we spanking shit. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't with the newer generation. We with them old heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Them old I bet if you take the design off our youngest, I bet they still gonna crack it up. Be serving the you know what I'm saying? So, serving the city like Biggie. We put our shit together. Yeah, yeah. No funny. Look how we make our, our local designers. Look, you got on a local brand. Yeah. It's a local brand. We make our shit look sweet. And I'm not, no disrespect to their clothes. They clothes look good, but it be the way we wear our shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it's just different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Different. Nah, facts really though, different. man. Fact, but now, nah, shout out New York though, man. So we just different, man. When it comes to sports, we own college basketball. From the girls to the boys' side, I know that specifically, personally. Football, mm-hmm. every football game, either whether it's college or NFL, it's always a line of people from DC or PG on that zone. The Steelers game just had like six players on both sides, like six or seven players from PG and DC in it. You know, <laughs> speaking boxing, of boxing, shout out to, uh, what you want to, you can take it to the prison uh, system with the DC blacks, man. We. Yeah, just everywhere, man. Everywhere. Fact. We everywhere. Speaking man. of the Steelers, though, walk in and try to take over your trap. Mm-hmm. Y'all was talking oh, that trash, trash huh? Your trap. Shout out to, what's his name? Marcus Allen. Yeah. Marcus they, Allen, they, Joe Hayden. I want to shout one. out all the commentators, man, who had us really? taking the L. Shout out to whoever that dude was that worked for one of them sports channels that had us taking all losses in one. He had us going one and 15. Every week, keep it like hey, man, that. shout out to you, brother, because, um, yeah, we doing that. Chase Young, Big Chase Young. You know what I'm saying? Big Jonathan Island. You know what I'm saying? They Big run. Alex Smith with the with the Dang. with the rehabilitated leg. One leg Alex. And we did it without Antonio Gibson. Get well, Shorty. You know what I'm saying? With that turf toe. Kids had like ten catches. Man, we did it without our one of our oh, best wow. offensive weapons, and still did that to the 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 un, both the undefeated team, the last undefeated team left. Damn, Put girl. some respect on our name. See, we can name people that contribute. That's not even like. Facts. Lamar so Jackson and stuff it. like that. You feel yeah, me? Facts, facts. Man, and the motherfucker still has got spanked, man. Don't curse. Huh? My man say every time we say we we not cursing, you, you be cursing, cursing a bull. Mild, bro. I mean, we passed the minimum though. So it's like, as long as we pass the minimum, we good. All right. I'm, I'm not going to curse though. My youngest be watching this joke. Yeah, yeah, and right. they parents. I'd be like, oh. But still, what, what, what they, they say? Walk your track. Big football team. What they say? Walk your <laughs> track. Team, no name. Your... Nah. Big football <laughs> team. That's the name. You hear me? Gave them the, the, the big L. <laughs> big L. Big L. 
I am. Hey, we apply pressure. Yes. Walking your track, take over your track. Come on, man. Hey, Cowboy nah, fans, how y'all doing? Y'all all right? What's up? Shout out Jerry Jones, man. Salute nah, Jerry Jones. Eagle man. fans, all y'all, man. Y'all looking real oh, bad. Oh, don't do that. That's smack like team, man. <laughs> man, when would you ever thought you would see a time where the Giants and the Skins are like battling for the NFC East? It's a good time. But you know to know why you wanna know why that's happening though? Cause when the Eagles and Dallas, y'all was all at the top. When Zeke was doing his thing, Romo, Dak, uh, Eagles, y'all had y'all little fluke first Super Bowl. The Skins and the Giants, specifically my Skins, we was on a come up. We was a start from the bottom, drafted. Dayron Payne, late round pick, John Allen. and John Allen wasn't a late round pick, but we draft well. So now it's three, four years later, and you kind of seeing the results of drafting well. Like, started, really started from the bottom, for real. Now we got a leader as a, co as a coach. We really got a leader, like a solid leader, a GM. We fired Bruce Allen, Jay Gruden. And now you're saying what we can do, man. We're we finally just... changed the culture, you know? No, for real. We got a darn good it's culture. 20 years, bro. This yeah, is man. BS, man. My whole, I'm 27, bro. I've never, we've never, I've never really seen my skins be a winner, for real. Besides true. them slight songs. And I was years. talking about that the other day. I was like, my age range, I'm a little older. So in the 90s, when we was good, I was a kid. But I, I remember born. us being a great team. Jeez. Super Bowls. You know what I'm saying? I was like, born a couple days after the 90s. Yeah, I remember Super them Bowl. days. So, yeah, like, so I was well, thinking, I said, Dad, if day, anybody yeah. younger than me, they don't remember us being good. They f so far removed from them Super Bowls. And when we was a playoff team, they don't, you know what I'm saying? Not good for one year or two years. Like, a consistent, a consistently good franchise. Bro. Yeah, we finally mm. changed. Like, they built, we have a team that could be great for years to come. Because the majority of our team now 25 is 25 and under. under. 24 and under. And we got just enough veterans sprinkled in there for the leadership. Yeah. And we, we got a we got an identity now. D-line. And this that we had to lose our offense. We had to lose our identity to gain our identity. No, nah, for real. That's crazy. Nice. You know what I'm saying? But oh, sure. all right, I just got that. That's bars. <laughs> bars. Dylan, Dylan. Nah, for real. <laughs> you ain't no bars. Everybody talking about we don't got a name. We got a name. It's the, it's the football team. team. It's it's not one person, two people, a mascot, none of that. We the football team. I love it. They say one, two, three, they, team. They That's what it's about like for real. I we like are. I like seeing Dwayne run and lift up his starting quarterback and help him and make sure he good. Chase I Young. like Chase Young. Four, energy. three down the sideline. Special Bro. teams on offense. Terry McLaurin. Shout out to Terry McLaurin because he plays so hard as a wide receiver. It's the, the plays when he's not just being a receiver. It's the blocks. It's the chasing down that and making Sam's tackles block on turnovers. It's mm -hmm. the it's the leadership for him just being a second year player and being a leader on our team. Like mm -hmm. man, and he humble. So humble. He not like the typical wide diva wide receiver for real. He's so humble. He not like this last game. He had what two catches. And he still, from he don't complain, you know, like, it's just think about how many receivers in this league. We ain't going to say no names. They just, they cry for the ball. Because Odell. they got the padded contracts where they know they got to get X amount of yards to get a bonus or X amount of touchdowns to get a bonus. You know what I'm saying? Terry McMorn is a team player, and I love him. I hope they, I hope the, all these players we got, I hope they retire Redskins. You know what I I'm saying? I mean, well, I'm sorry. Football team players, because we're not the Redskins no more. Apologize. Man. But, yeah, I hope they retire Washington football I, team players. I ain't going to still call them Redskins, but I, I got to at least call them the Skins, though. Skins. I like the Skins. I, I, I wish just we could keep them, that name, bro. Just keep them as the Skins. You know what, though? Like, if we, if we had a choice to go back, though, I would I kind of, I kind of like. It's like the first year we not that, and we're a new, we're something new. It's like a new start, but it's still the old vibe in a way. Mm -hmm. I kind of would keep the Washington football team because if you think about it from a culture aspect, sports for me, culture is all about the team over anything for real. And I like it. It's a new start. Like it was a they lot been, of BS going been, on. They've been talking about that though. They've been, and it's a possibility we may stay the football team. Brandon is sweet. But, okay, what about we do need, I mean, every team got, like, a mascot, though. We wouldn't be able to have a mascot. Don't have one. We never really had one, for real, for real. You think it all? Yeah, yeah, we we never had one. Rest in peace. We had an unofficial Chief mascot. Chief Z. Shout out man, to Chief. He man. was the GOAT, man. Yeah, for real. Yeah, and our mascots be the hogs. The people that's in the crowd why, with, that's the, what I'm about to say. with the noses That's why stuff. we could, listen, hear me out, y'all. If we go with the skins, it could be, like, a play off the pig. But, see, people... 
we don't like pigs and people don't eat pork, so they, you know what I'm saying? They might not like that. It was so they already got the hogs. What about the Washington Warhol? We always used to call out. What about the Washington Warhol? That's what I'm saying. The Washington Warhol. I like that. That's corny, bro. It's kind of, I wish we could keep the corny, nickname the skins bro. because it's in better than my DNA. I've been calling us the skins since I was too. could talk. You know what I'm saying? Talk the skins, bear skins. Nah, nah, not bear skins. Bro, just stop, bro. Just stop, bro. Always, stop, bro. Stop, stop, stop. I was just thinking of a name. No, bro, stop, bro. Stop. Bro. stop, bro. stop bro. <laughs> Y'all think it's something suspect. Nah, you know I'm mean? not thinking suspect. That's a corny name, bro. You say bear skins? That's, That's corny, wild. bro. A football team name, the, 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 what you just said? I was just thinking like tough like bears and shit. I don't no, know bro, what the fuck. He ain't played sports growing up, y'all. He ain't. Yeah, I wanted to be a fake All right, anywho, we're going to... We can get off of that. You know what I'm saying? We can get off of that. I mean, if it was a team, though, hold up. What what, what would y'all suggest the name, though? The Washington football team. I like the football team. I like the football team. It's real simple. It's no distractions. And the color is sweet. Like, I like that. And we kept the burgundy and gold. The numbers on the helmet, like it's a football team. Like, the numbers... I I, I ain't going to lie. That white on white was sexy. At first, I didn't like it. But it, it still got to grow on me though. Because it makes it simple. Uh, it, it simplifies but it, the but game. It does, it if we of, win though, it don't matter. Everything going to look good as long as you win for real. Fast. Because just say a name change and then we have to change our uniform color. We've been burgundy and gold forever since the inception to the football league. Mm-hmm. And I forgot how it started because it didn't always start as the NFL. So as long as we've been, we've been established since 1932. That's way before my time. Grandfather, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 26, right, 10, That's 26. way before my time. And I've, but I've been to games, RFK Hitler Stadium. You know what I'm saying? So like, for me, I identify with the burgundy and gold. I like the colors. I like how it look. Make it simple. Washington football team. And if we win, like go far in the playoffs. Keep. It's not gonna be a curse. It's, keep that going. You want to keep that aura going. Don't change something all up. Some I don't believe in like that type of stuff, but. Hey, don't mm-hmm. change nothing up if it's working. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, yeah I'm telling you. If yeah, something was fact, broke, so we fact, fixed fact, it. Facts, facts, facts. So, whole time, we're going to get to the next subject right here. We're going to get to some off topic, off DMV subject, man. Oh. What's going on with little Baby, man? What's that, the Miss London Jones? Hey. Hey. Oh, she I, don't pussy. I, just, I don't eat pussy, bro. Them hoes lying on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man. Hey, shout out 42 Doug. That's a 4PF CMG artist. Listen, bro. Hey, little baby, man. I'm with you, bro. Let me let me tell you something. They said that was before he was with. We got to stop the clout chasing, all right? That girl is trying to clout up off that man. I don't care who you are, oh, no. how course. much money you that got. Is... Listen, I do not believe no screenshot of DMs, bro. Do you know how well people Photoshop? I watch people Photoshop Spotify numbers. I watch people Photoshop DMs. I watch people have whole create whole conversations with them and look legit. Like mm-hmm. they're talking to celebrities. I've seen it. I don't put nothing past none of these tech geniuses. All right? And just think what she stands to make. We was not talking. This is a porn star. All right? And no disrespect to anybody who do porn. Do what you do. Get your bag how you get your bag. She different. But let me tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying, I don't care if it's hush money, whatever not you want to call it. Never. I'm not paying no 16K. This is Lil Baby. And let's be real. He could probably tag any clout chasing girl out here just her. because he's Lil Baby. A, a woman that looked fatter than her, bad than her, for the free 99. So why in the world would he pay this woman? Six, you got to show me the invoice. She did. I mean, it's probably something. Don't probably. show me no DM. Show me an invoice. For the experience, probably. Man, have what you, experience? Have you seen her, bro? I saw her. She different. I'm not about to say, act like I don't watch porn. I, I oh, no, I'm not saying watch I it, though, seen, but when I it happened, though, you porn see stars. I ain't Shout that. out to Young the Boss. You know what I'm saying? She happy. Y'all seen Young? I'm not saying. You know what I'm talking about? Hold on, hold on. I'm not saying. I plead the fifth. Go Come Google on. her. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Hold on, Let's y'all. go. I'm not saying like watch her, but when it happened though, you can see who she is. Like she different. I would never pay for no nothing though. But like you said, it's for experience. That sixteen k to him is just. Let's pay for experience. Like you go to Vegas. Yeah. Let's pay for experience. Yeah, like like nah, that's just probably like. Bro. That's 16k no to him. Not, it's not. That but pussy ran through. It's, it is, but we on man time. She's taking it that is. porn star dick. I don't want that oh, pussy. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I, that shit. She. He listen, ain't want it either. Probably. If you fucking like, for a living, mm-hmm. I ain't saying. Listen, yeah, I know it's bad. Like it's fucking free. Though. Even if I got a bag, I'm gonna spend that on it. If I'm a, hold on, let's let's let's. And they from Atlanta, they be doing that type of shit. If a nigga going to trick, right? They different. It mm-hmm. gotta be something that's. 
rare. Yeah. If I'm gonna spend my money on some pussy, especially sixteen bands, that's what's rare? Something. What's what's rare about it? Gotta though? be like it's about the experience. Something like different, like something Man, like you seen her. Don't see I God, seen bro. her. Like bro, I'm, listen, different. like I said, shout out to the boss. I'm gonna shout her out to she like get in the comment section. Like, oh, thank you. Like listen, y'all go Google Yum the Boss, right? Let me show you. Uh, and y'all let Domo know who she 16, is. 16 bands for I'm not paying nothing for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody posted. Somebody posted. Wink, the, wink. Somebody <laughs> compared her to Dennis Rodman when he had 28 rebounds and he did all the dirty work. They were like, shoot the ball to see the comments. Like man, it ain't I about what seen, she look I like. Seen, you know, it's about, it's about, it's about. They say it's about her. What she doing? Get down and do the dirty work. You yeah, ever? She cool. different. It's but not, I never though. I but never, nah, ever, y'all ever, ain't ever, just though, seen but. Lil Baby's comments on Twitter. What he said? He admitted he hit the job. Yeah, she said it was before but she, he, 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 he ain't paid. Hey, yeah, he said he ain't paid, but he did hit the job. I don't, yeah, I'm not, one paid, thing I'm going to say, bro, I'm not going to despise, I'm not going to, let's say he did pay. I don't think he paid 16K. Let's be honest. And if he's admitting to hitting the joint, okay, he hit it. I'm not saying he didn't hit it. You know what I think he might have paid 16K for? Just from hush money. Man, you get a non-disclosure. Yeah. You make her sign a non-disclosure like you before got, you get a bread up. Yeah, facts. I'll sue you. <laughs> that ain't bad. Don't I'll pay you sixteen k for some pussy to keep your mouth closed. And you tell on me, I'm gonna sue you. You <laughs> sign this non-disclosure. All, all your royalties I want, to earn. Yeah, man. you will never make another dollar in the porn industry ever. All your porno checks will come to me. L way or no way LLC. My bank account. You playing, man? But it's a different like that. That throwing money at like paying for. Vagina, bro, that's a real thing. Like, that's just it real. It is. Real. I mean, like, I just, celebrities be, the niggas with the bag, they do, do trick. I, I, I was surprised. Hope. You know, bro. some people, some people, they they be tricking because they just don't got free, time for Free Big Meech. You know Big Meech and the BMF nigga. they was the biggest tricks out here because they didn't call it tricking. They just was like, they like having a good time because they was having so much money. Bro, if you was just the do boy for BMF, you was out here... They was putting, yeah. They said they was putting girls through college. <laughs> they was buying cars. <laughs> they was buying houses. <laughs> <laughs> buying girls <laughs> the life that they wanted, the life of luxury. Hey, yeah, free big <laughs> beach, man. Hey, look, they fucked the game up, bro. For if you was a regular hustling nigga in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? You was getting you some money. You thought you was getting some money, and them BMF niggas walking. You see all these niggas with these BMF chains and shirts and shit, and they walk in the building, man. Tuck your ones, man. <laughs> Put your ones in your pocket. And just creep out the back door, come back another night. Cause they they tricked on another level. They didn't call it like it was just an experience. These niggas had mansions in every mm-hmm. they had mansions in every city and state they went to. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I get it. I I'm not disagreeing with Domo. I guess when you get when you got a certain type of bag. You want to skip the formalities, all that courting the woman and all. Just give me the pussy. Yeah, 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 just give me the pussy. <laughs> you know what I'm like, saying? Somebody, they, they, I, they, they, I ain't acting like it don't exist. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Some, but, some niggas would be like, bro, I don't feel like taking no bottom. It ain't like he can't get no bitch. It's just like, though, I don't feel like taking no bottom, no dates, Chris. spending $200, 300 you know, whatever. I'm not speaking for my spirit. I'm just yeah. saying in general, though. You know what I'm saying? You know, but yeah. I'm going to take like, the Yo Gotti approach, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, Yo though. Yo Gotti said you want the Birkin. Or you want a or you want a business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you want trick trick right, you know what I'm saying? Like and 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 make yourself and then make yourself a the co CEO of her business. <laughs> Give her the business and then make yourself the co CEO or paper so that way, you know, you still you making money back, you trick, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she yeah, she yeah, love yeah. you forever, you get her a business versus a, a bag. If a girl want a bag, if you that's how you know you got to keep her. Ask your girl she want a bag or business. If she say she want a bag, just go ahead and leave her alone and scrap. She for the streets. Mm-hmm. Streets! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, for real though, man. 16K. Nah, 16K. Yikes. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no... Oh, uh, 6K. It's 6 to 16. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, two, it was some, two different numbers. Yeah, it was like sometimes he paid 6K six six and it was sometimes he paid 16 Hold on, multiple times? Right it, was like, it was more than once. It's... But it was like sometimes it was 6K. I think that if it was 16K of all, it was hush money. Like, shut the fuck up. And then she just still yeah, spit at me. It just showed the little jump. That's crazy. Uh, did Lisa Ray ever post on her OnlyFans yet, y'all? Ooh. I'm waiting for that. That's a good one. I'm waiting for that. That's a good one, man. Y'all let me know. 
You know what I'm saying? That was a good one. Can we retire Glizzy's down, bro? I'm fucking tired of this shit, bro. What? Mr. Glizzy? Is yes. tired of Glizzy's? Nah, because I just saw this wild shit that I posted, bro. Remember the, the, wild, the wild Glizzy? And he ate this shit. It was like a flower or some shit. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like some them. They, they be like on the farm. Seeds and shit, bro. Like, I'm tired of y'all fucking out of town, this bro. Like, y'all made the glizzy, y'all made the glizzy bit so fucking corny now, bro. I'm fucking sick of it, bro. I'ma say this. I'ma yeah. It's a Washingtonian. I like that I like I hate that they making it corny, but I like that other people are using our slang. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's just you can't have it both ways. You know what I'm saying? Like, we use so much. I ain't saying just, like, me or personally. Because I try to keep myself as city-oriented as possible when it comes to my lingo. I slip up from time to time human. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But we use so much other people's slang. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it feels I, good when it you It feels good to see somebody else using our slang. Yeah. I had no problem. It was funny at first. But then it just, like, motherfuckers just started using, like, like Kim Kardashian. Was saying Glizzy like she named the Elf Glizzy or something. Yeah, like that. Elf Glizzy. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> I think she was just. I thought I think she was just bidding on somebody though. But yeah, it might have been. I mean, I look. It's cool to me, man. I take but, like, it out the lingo and make us look sweet. I just wanted. I just wanted us to blow up overall everything that we doing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hold on. Why we? I'm sorry because we talking about the area. Shout out to Apop. He got to play Earl Spence Jr. Um. The young Earl Spence Jr. in the pay-per-view fight that just passed this past yeah, weekend, I think. That was nice, though. So you saw the pay-per-view fight in the beginning when they were showing the, the backstory and all that. Shout out to APAP making this actorial debut. You know what I'm saying, man? Yeah. Salute to you, That bro. was nice, though. That was nice. That was a good look for yeah, the city, man. Shout out everybody doing good shit from the city. Even in the pandemic, man, to still be getting movie roles and shit like that. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not movie roles, but just acting gigs and shit. Niggas still spank, spank your shit, though. What the fuck was you wearing, though, hey, Pat? Now, hold what, on. Let's talk about that. That's my man, though. Hold on. Let's talk about that. With the whole ball fit. That man was let's, looking like The Rock back in 2002 and let's 3. Let's talk about that. Let's oh, talk about God. that. Oh, God. Why do we make people the bid? Even when they doing <laughs> something good. Like, I think that's just our city, he though. Got, he got bidding on more for the look than the congratulations of getting the role. We Joan. That's we just, that's just all we do. We Joan like <laughs> Like, it's probably, I, I understand, you know, but we just, we. I think that's just our we culture. Just different, huh? I think we all just build different. Just that's how we show different. love, for real, for real. That's sad. It yeah, is sad, that's but that's sad. That's <laughs> sad, but it's like how up, we show love. If you grew up not knowing how to Joan in this city, though, you did. So, yeah. it's going to, it translates to social media. Like, Cray spanked him, though. Cray spanked him. Cray spanked him. Cray spanked him. Cray spanked him. Nah, for real, man. Nah, for real. Hey, I forgot to make an announcement, though. Next episode, man, we're going to have Cray say, TV. Don't say it. No, we're going to say it. Keep it. All right, yeah, we got Cray TV coming to the next episode. So y'all make sure y'all stay in tune for that one, though. He's going to motherfucking have everybody cracking up and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That's going to probably be the most funny episode y'all ever going to see. I ain't going to lie. This nigga going to... Because all he do is big. So this that's going to be the that most... That nigga going to burn me up, bro. I'm probably going to shut the tail with this motherfucker, though. Nah, I ain't going to shut the tail. going to burn you up. Come on, <laughs> bro. God damn it. <laughs> God. <laughs> God. <laughs> Come on, bro. I had to walk on with that one. Come on now. Come on, man. You son of a Come on, burn me up. <laughs> Come on, can we beat that one out, bro? <laughs> no, <don't bleep> <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. I would keep that. Come on, bro. bro. <laughs> man, he gonna probably use that and put it on Instagram and Keep it. We going. He going viral off of that. We going up off of that. He should never say that. Nah, bro. <laughs> but nah, the Crano got a serious boat in his body. Yeah, that nigga is hilarious, man. So, but we going up next week. Oh, I did y'all see that? Was y'all go find Giselle for yeah, you. She, yeah, she flood her DMs again, like y'all did. Yeah, ghost time. emojis. All ghost emojis. All ghost emojis. All ghost emojis. Please do. And another thing is, yeah. No, oh, did y'all see that video with my man Devin? He funny down. Oh, with Craig, the, yeah, the, the Craig, prank junk. The prank junk, though. How would y'all react in that situation if somebody came to your house and they just broke your ass? It depends on who it is. If you like my man, man, I'm not even really going to... It's just a game to console. I can get another one. Nah, but we don't have to still fight, though. He just break it for no reason, bro? They it's they, they act like they was, like, fake arguing or something. And then they just, he was, like, he turned up, like, I'll break your shit or something like that. Bro, if I come to your house and I just break your <laughs> jump, bro, you, you better see me, bro. 
<laughs> nah, it was just funny how like he what, did it. Bro? It was just funny my how he... closest minds. I will slap you, bro. Not my PlayStation Five. He bro. did it so like the, the funny thing. Four. The funny thing way how Cray Cray did it so DC, bro. He like, hey, bro, you see my lighter, bro? <laughs> just went straight smack at him, bro. I was dying laughing. Like, ain't no nigga would do that like a DC nigga, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Nah, bro. You don't break. Not my game sister, bro. That's different. That's yeah. like my... That's my girlfriend. I ain't got no girlfriend. I guess because he intentionally you, did it. You got... It's different. Intentionally? I mean, somebody broke up by accident. He intentionally did it. It was a prank, though. Ain't no way you... Unintentionally break somebody game. Somebody accidentally break somebody game. Ain't shit. no way, Niggas bro. Niggas be drunk and doing wild shit. That's intentionally, bro. That's I, I, I ain't got no. I ain't go. I ain't got no cuff cards for that. We gonna have to not the game that. system, bro. That's man, my. That's bro, my shit, bro. Me and my man. I remember we was kids, teenage. I'm four, like 13, 14. Used to fight over two K. And me and my man is like we like back in the day. I think we had a P. I think this back to PS2, Xbox days, bro. We playing right. He get mad about something, bro. He broke the game in my face, bro. You think we didn't get the scrapping, bro? It was oh, over no, the... you got to see him. Yeah, bro. you got to see him. That's yeah. Andreas Andrea's days, man. I'm yeah, like, yeah I forgot what game it was, man. but we was wrecking over that game, he bro. So that's what I'm saying. So it's like, you break my whole Xbox, bro. My PS2. I can't I play Tekken Xbox, no more. Bro. I can't play Tekken for a night. Yeah, nah, no bullshit, bro. You gotta see me. I'm fighting over the game, so imagine what I'm gonna do over the game system, bro. I'm gonna go fucking crazy, bro. I ain't even gonna do no. I ain't even gonna give you time to do no dumb shit. And once you do the dumb shit, we ragging. Craig had a process. You can tell Craig when he first broke the joint. Craig had a process. He still did like. Should I kill this nigga? Should I? <laughs> yeah, and like think like this shit really happened, bro. Like, <laughs> like what should I do about this situation, bro? Like that shit was funny. He funny now. We almost get fucked up in all his pranks. He got to stop this. Yeah, shit. no bullshit. I think he, I think no, y'all go sell to his YouTube channel, but he be living he on the wild down, side. He funny now, man. He funny down, man. He got funny as YouTube. He be living on the wild side. He, he funny really down, stays yeah, dangerous. Yeah, funny down. That's the one with the funny looking picture. Yeah, he got like a. He was just like he also he he fake broke up with his girlfriend and all. He got like a cartoon emoji or something, don't he? I don't know. Nah, nah. Yeah, I think yeah, I think his main joint. You know what I'm saying? You got y'all can follow y'all can follow his Instagram. Uh, he funny that. I think his real name is Devin. Yeah, it's Devin. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to show y'all his Instagram right here. This is Instagram, y'all. So if y'all can go ahead and click his YouTube channel, man. He is definitely entertaining, bro. I ain't lying to you though. <laughs> but nah, though, man. Whole time. Any other discussions, man? We got for the night. Man, not really, man. Shout out to my uh, since we we already touched on the uh, skins, watch the football team. Shout out to my Wizards, man. Westbrook in the city. You man, know, welcome, man. man. Westbrook in the city. I love Wall. Don't get me wrong, man. That's Wall came to DC what like nine, ten years ago, bro. Yeah, and he changed the time. culture, bro. He changed the culture, but oh yeah, shout out to Wall. It's the Thank team you, over. I'm about. I'm, 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 it's it's team over individual for me, man. I just want to see a winning program on that basketball court like man. Mm -hmm. Westbrook gonna bring that. He really gonna bring energy. You don't gotta you don't gotta worry about him not giving a hundred percent. Not saying Wall wasn't, but you never you don't really gotta he always gonna give you his all, like no matter what. Wall ain't playing like what two years and that sucks. Cause Wall I was always wanna say Wall over any point guard. That's twenty that's twenty seventeen Wall, oh my gosh, but availability is the best ability for real. And then it's a business at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. It's not like you being your your men are the owners and stuff. It's a business too. So yeah, Westbrook in the city. We going to the playoffs. I hope y'all know that because the East. We hungry, already know bro. the top three, four teams in the East. East, looking we're up, going though. to definitely be like a six, seven, eight seed, easy in the East. I promise you. Mm -hmm. Remember this, this, this uh episode. We got be like, hey, now, said yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I think that for right. some reason, I don't know why, I just feel it that Bill and and Westbrook are going to compliment each other's game. They are, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because if you think about it, Bill so, like, he, he, he'll be the face of the franchise, but he's so laid back that he'll take that, 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 now it's not a back seat, but he can really play off the ball, too. He don't really need the ball in his hands because he can move off the ball. And oh, Ray Allen like, is. Yeah, they, they disrespected that man last year, you know, and they snubbed him for all the all NBA teams. 37 and 6, something like that. I'm like, that's crazy. So having a, a superstar like Russell is going to bring that spotlight here that's going to watch what I tell you. Both of them is going to make the all-star teams. And both of them going to be all NBA. They're going to be first team all NBA players. Like season. wall penetrating that, that middle and kicking out the bill is cool, though. But Westbrook penetrating that paint is different than anybody ever, bro. That's a lot of kickouts to Bill, Rui, 
the, our rookie Denny, he gonna be like that. What's like, the other one name that we just signed? Bertans. Yeah. Like, but our rookie, he gonna be special. Remember, I'm telling y'all this now. He coming from overseas, but in the NBA, is more is more uh, attempts, is more possessions, is faster pace. It's not as physical as overseas defense wise, cause they kind of let the offense. It's more predicated to the offensive players. He gonna be special. Watch ninth overall pick, but he gonna be special. I, I've been watching film of him. He gonna be like that. I said it here though. He a bucket. Yeah. He a bucket, bro. He's six nine. Could play point guard. Could play defense. I hope, still like could shoot. I hope he be like a Luca. That'd be lit. That's a lot to put on somebody, but he. I'm, hey, I'm putting on. My he own tough, bro. On, I want to see. I want. I hope that we got a steal like that. Like I didn't think Luca Doncic was gonna be Luca Doncic. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I thought they was tripping. I'm like, who? And then this white boy could hoop. Mm -hmm. Like hoop hoop. And they've been pros since they was 13, 14 years old. So oh, fast, let's man. get it, man. Yeah. That's all the sports. Yeah, we're gonna wrap it up, man. Shout out my boy D Money Ma, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout uh oh yeah, shout out Baby 50. He got that verification check, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the DMV Robbers doing their thing, man. I think I wanna shout out to some rappers. Who y'all been cranking to before we go? Big Mackie. Shout out Big Mackie. Oh yeah, Mackie. Big Mackie, mixtape like that. Yeah, y'all need to check that. 2021, man. Big Mackie, man. Shout yeah. out Big Mackie. Yeah, the Mac. I swear to Mac, Mackie gonna be turning Can't Mackie. play no 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 little Oh, yeah, we can't make no music on no here. Music. You know, yeah, hey. YouTube be geeky. Shout out Auntie. You know what I'm saying? Shout Auntie, Auntie. B State. She about to start doing her little chat and choose, but she get the smack like probably be the cameraman. When she gonna y'all gonna whip up a meal, you know what I'm saying? And y'all gonna have a conversation. It's gonna be like an interview. You're gonna get to eat some bomb ass food. You know what I'm saying? So boom, shout out to Auntie. Um shout out Lico Money and Young E Class. That they got video. the best video to me out of the city of the up and coming. When I ain't gonna say up and coming, I, that's disrespectful. Of the artists that's not signed yet. Yeah. They got the independent artists, they got the best independent video. So that's not counting the shies and all the niggas that got the, you know what I'm saying, that big bag behind them. Lego Money, Young E Class, for independent artists, that was one of the best visuals I've seen yeah. out of the city. What's the video called? Hold on. I mean, you know I know that I posted it, but yeah. That, video. that song. Y'all go check that joint out. The song crank, the visuals like that. Man, they had the Wraith in the video. Yeah. E-Class had that Fidella never on looking sweet. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Legal Money did his thing. He killed it. Yeah, I played that joint. Man, my little man get the cranking. <laughs> I'm in the trap serving. She trying to go flirting. I was like, yeah, I like it. But, but nah. Yeah, yeah I, ain't play, right I ain't gonna play the music though, but check it out. Legal Money, man, and trap serving, man. Well, uh, my what well, E class, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah definitely. Like, I can't play the music, but the qual if y'all can see the quality of this joint, bro, this shit is like that, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's when you a vet, when you make the right event, that's just for your music and shit like that, man. He got the baddest. It's like something that's really in a music video that you've seen on on TV, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, but you see the majors, you. Hey, they made, I'm proud of visuals so good. Yeah, the visuals, yeah. I'm proud. It's like, nah. So, like, like, you make the right investments into the marketing, you make the right investments into your your visuals and stuff like that, bro. Y'all really, y'all really can do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like right here, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just a like, it's a, it's a, it's a dope song, but the visuals just bring more. You know what I'm saying? Attention to it, though. You know what I'm saying? You, you look at them and you got respect. Like, just think if you're not from. Even if you're from the area, you never heard of them. When you look at them, you look like they, they look like they signed already. They look like the visuals make it look like they're established artists. And that's what you want. You want yeah, your facts. video to be on par with the little babies and the Rollos and all these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like that's you want your you want your visuals to look like that. And it don't even cost that much money. I'm not gonna tell you what they pay, I know what they pay, it then it don't even cost that much. So and they put the budget into the marketing and promotion of the song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so facts. Shout out to them, man. Yeah, um, long live Lundy. Rest in peace, Lundy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause that's his people, whatever. But you know, that was my heart. I had a special type of love for Lundy. That was one of the most humble, talented artists. Gone too soon. Yeah, she was. She was lit. Yeah, man. Shit, yeah, man. Nah, definitely. But I appreciate it. You got any last words, man? Yeah. So I got two little shout outs. Shout out my my good man, my my good man, Marlo. I know him personally though, we went to school this together. But shout out to my good man. His Instagram name is This Is Marlo, man. But yeah, that he got a new single called Uh, 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 uh.
Ah, oh, that joint right. crank real smooth, little. A nice little vibe off the early morning. Crazy yeah, vibe. Yeah. Or if you just want to chill coming home, bro. And, it, and he's a, he's a self-director. So he's a director, too. He does music videos, too. Boy. Yeah, the drone in there. This is Marlo. This is Marlo Films. He's a so you know, he, he does his own videos. You know what I'm saying? He's also an artist. He's shot a couple of my interviews, you know what I'm saying? So you definitely, you uh, definitely uh, want to uh, uh, check out some of him, man. Dope, man. He's it's definitely hard. dope, man. He's definitely dope, Super, man. super dope, you know man. What I'm saying? Shout out my boy, this is Marlo, though, man. And last one, uh, shout out. We So we got another event. It's another event coming up called Battle of the States. It's, uh, it's going to be started by Ball in School, my good man, Maurice. He's doing a good thing with, and with Ball in School. That's his basketball company. But it's bigger than basketball because he's teaching these athletes about credit, finances, all those type of things. But yeah, you know he's doing the thing called Ball in School. So it's a guy named Ching Ching, I think. He be on a mic down uh, in, in New York. I guess, I guess at the Rucker Park. But he big on the mic. He going to be coming down to the city or, or wherever at the DMV area. It's going to be bad over the states. My uh, team, well, my organization is called the District Sports AAU. The number one AAU program in D.C., Maryland, or Virginia. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. But we real D.C. based. It's Southeast based, though. But we got kids from everywhere in the city. We taking over. You know, a lot of these programs, they come to our city, and they take our city kids. Not saying no names, because it's, 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 it's a business. But they take our kids, and they use our kids to build their brand up. So what we doing is... Uh, we we keeping our kids in the city, northeast, southeast, northwest, and we gonna build that. Born in the city, build in the city, grow in the city, all of that. That's what nice. it's about. We nice. started with my good my bro Jimmy Jenkins. He started the district sports CEO. We got a lot of good stuff coming up, man. So the district sports ball in school. Shout out to Coach Vito. And yeah, man, we coming, man. We want all the smoke. I got one more shout out. Shout out my dog Aerospace. He got to deal with Sprite. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the big. soda that you drink, that lemon and lime soda. Shout out Aerospace. For some reason, this fool do not never check his DMs. You Aerospace know what I'm saying? My man. So I'm good. But shout out my dog. You know what I'm saying? People, hold on, y'all. Y'all can hit me up, though, because I always contact him. I don't know what he's allergic to money sometimes. I know y'all, but respect my man brand. You feel what I'm saying? Not, not Aerospace, but I'm just saying in general, like, ain't nothing free in this world. Cause if just imagine me sliding in your DM. You got a hundred some followers, and all of a sudden I want you to post something for me for free. When you had a hundred followers, I never hit you up. Now you got a hundred thousand followers, and I'm in your DM like, yeah, bro, post this for me for free, man. Uh, oh, I'm gonna give you ten dollars. That is so disrespectful. Cause that means not only my fake. You feel what I'm saying? For even coming at you like that, I wasn't messing with you when you was nothing. And now that you up, I expect you to do something for me for free. It don't work like that. That's not how the world works. If you got a business and you selling sneakers and you say this your price, I'm going to respect your price. Fact. You feel what I'm saying? You the sneaker plug or you sell funnel or whatever you sell. If you sell something and you name your price, even if it's promo, and you say this is my price, I'm going to respect your price and I'm going to pay it. Mm -hmm. I don't understand where this discount stuff come from or where the disrespect that people brand come from. I don't get it. We only do that to each other because you ain't walking in nobody's Gucci store and getting no discount. They don't do discounts. Yeah, we only do that towards each other. Though. They price is they price. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy BDR though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the like local brands that came out, bro. Niggas be hitting me up. Like, bro, different brands hit me up. Like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Bro, you know what I'm saying? I be like, hey, bro, how much you want for your brand? How much you want for this? I be like, no, I don't want nothing for free, bro. You know what I'm saying? I pay full price. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever, whatever. If you want to give me a discount or whatever, I mean that's cool. But I don't. But don't give me not a huge. Like don't talk about your yo, if your hoodie if your if your whole outfit costs a hundred dollars. But don't talk about no fifty dollars, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm gonna pay that. You know what I'm saying? This and the third. That's why I still to this day when it comes to going to clubs and go goes and shit, bro. Sometimes I be in the line, bro. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be in the line and shit, and I don't be caring about getting in for free because I'm damn because of news. Go go music is a is a black owned business, man. The promoters who run is a black owned business, bro. And plus me is a, a is a formal go go promoter and shit, and still dibble and dab and go go, bro. I know the expenses, I know how much the band costs, the sound costs, everything like that. So, I always love supporting business, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. He definitely paid. We went to go see shout out TOB, they won a war band of the year. Yeah. Oh, we got to mention that too, yeah. yeah, man. Also, one last shout out before we go, shout out to TOB, man. You know what I'm saying? We pulled up, man, showed them some love because you know they won two awards, man. You know what I'm saying? They won what, uh, band, band of the, of the year, year or something like that, band yeah. like, yeah, band of the year. And I, uh, what was the other one? That I, I forgot. Won? But um, shout out Loso. Shout out Slutty T. What's they lead, Mike? Chris. Shout out Chris. Shout out James. James played the bass, right? You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Shout out James. You know what I'm saying. Like 
so some of the dudes I know in the band personally, some of them I'm just meeting. Shout out TLB Tall Sign. Um, shout out the whole TLB, man. But I was saying, like, damn, it was the news. We got to the door. He paid all I eat, kicked out the 120. You know what I'm saying? To get us in there, like, just off the strength, like, just support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know no way was getting on me, like, bro, you did because I'm like, like, bro, I mean, in the day, I don't got time to argue about who I'm in. I mean, sometimes I'd be like, you know, I'm on the guest list. If I'm on it, I'm on it. If I'm not. Yeah, but that was on a, in my defense. I don't want y'all to think that I'm contradicting myself. I'm a hypocrite. I was only saying that because he was supposed to be on the guest list. Yeah. So if you're on the guest list, I don't have a problem with paying, but at least you should be able to get it for free yeah. if you're on the guest list. But he didn't care about the guest list. He wasn't trying to use that to his advantage. He just paid. So, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, and, it's, and we had like, a good don't time. Bother don't don't bother me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't bother me. But yeah, just support everything that's black, especially that's DC and black. You know what I'm saying? We were just having that debate about, you know what I'm saying? Because like, I was like, man, we should bring the North Face back or something like that. And people was debating about North Face and Eddie Bauer and shit. And then people was also in my comments talking about man bring black you know help revive black businesses in the you know what i'm saying and stuff like that in dc and we should uh, just you know break our culture and do that and i and i do that too i agree though i i, I definitely agree with that though i don't i don't know that this? else i'm gonna give y'all some food for thought then we're gonna end this right shout out the north face and all i don't have nothing against these people shout out to eddie bauer i don't have nothing against them people but i'm pretty sure i can bet everything in my bank account on this that those are white owned companies yeah. So what I challenge y'all to do is, because we know the style of coats that we like to wear. You know what I'm saying? I seen Respect Brand. He got a coat oh out. Um, some I'm of back. the other local brands got coats. I wish Fidel and Nero was able to drop his coats, but he had an issue with the manufacturer. But that's neither here nor there. So any local brand come out with something that looks sweet. We know what the hellies look like. We made these companies so much money. I want somebody that's black. And a Washingtonian or somebody from the DMV, you only gotta be Washingtonian, they come out with something sweet and let us support that. And let's blow that up. Yeah. Let's make that a, a coat instead of bring it back North Face, because that was the option we bring back North Face or Eddie Bauer. Why we need to keep making them rich? They don't give us no kickback, they don't give us no residuals. We yeah. out here wearing their merchandise, was, paying I top met, dollar for it. I met people was getting killed for them giants. Bro. Yeah, we didn't know Eddie Bauer with all that. Think about how many people lost their life or, or came close to losing their life at gunpoint for their coat. And you think Eddie Bauer ever gave anything back to DC? Yeah. You think North Face ever gave anything back to DC? You see what I'm saying? So, with that being said, that's when that's my last note that I want to leave this this episode on. I hope that y'all understand what I'm trying to say. You feel me? Because I want y'all to think outside the box. Like yeah, we support so many other people's brands other than our own, where we could blow up our own, and that money's going to, in turn, come back to our neighborhood. Even if they just do for their section, let's say he's from Northeast, like E, let's say we Malik blow up, even bigger than what he is. He's going to do for his community. I, you can't save the whole city, but at least we know that people are not, that money's coming back to our economy. We already get gentrified. They're knocking neighborhoods down every day. Knocking down Kennewood with this poster. They trying to change. What was that? They trying to change the Hill East. What's that? Uh, State oh, Army. my God. I ain't even bring that up. What the fuck is Hill I'm sorry. I know we say we want to go cut it. What the yeah. fuck is Hill East, bro? Like, nah, for real. Like, real life. What is Hill East, bro? Y'all just making shit up now, They're bro. They trying to take out identity, was bro. First no, it was first Noma. Not, and then, and then they yeah. then they said they about to change the train station name and stuff. So and you know, you know why they be doing this, though? And you know, you know, gentrification hits me heavy, bro. Like, when people bring that up. I got to talk about this. You know why they do this stuff up, bro? Sure. It was the same reason why. Because that area wasn't even capital. Because before it was Hill East, they, they changed that area to Capitol Hill. That wasn't Capitol Hill at first, was it? I don't that, think so. It wasn't Capitol Hill at first. You know what I'm saying? I think it was more. I think it was really Eastern Market or something like that. Right. But usually what happens is when they either expand an area, when they expand an area in D.C., or if they change the name of area, is the the raise the property tax of the community and shit, and then rebrand it and repackage it so they can sell it. You know what I'm saying? Sell it off and raise the property tax and stuff, and kick the people that's living in that neighborhood out. That's usually why they do that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever, whatever. So it's like, say for example, you down like 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 that area is not too far from Capitol Hill downtown, right? So when they change the name, they spread that shit right over there. You know what I'm saying? All over that eastern that eastern market area, and they changed it, and then that shit reaching yeah, all the way to Northeast and shit. That raised the property tax up. The uh, Lincoln Park, not the one in Maryland, but the one that's in Northeast. People don't know that used to be a black neighborhood too. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, y'all just you know, y'all just gotta watch out, man. We got you know, everybody. We can't just keep saying. Man, fuck gentrification. Fuck these people. Boom, boom, boom. We gotta really figure out plans what to do to help combat this. You know what I'm saying? You can't own. 
land in D.C., which makes it hard for us to say, okay, let's buy our blocks back. That mm-hmm. makes it so hard. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, so we really fighting for something that it's, hard, we, it's a losing battle. You know what I'm saying? I don't battle. know how we combat this, man. Maybe Trayon, because you're a council member, maybe somebody that's in the politics can give us some ideas about what we can do. And I like what he's doing for War 8. It's so many black-owned businesses that's opened up in War 8 under council member Trayon White. You know what I'm saying? I salute everything that he's doing. I support him 1,000%. I hope he run for mayor. Because I'd rather have him for mayor than Bowser. Because mm-hmm. I know that he's for the people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He come from the struggle. He's a real deal Washingtonian. He not going to be up there not knowing what mumbo sauce is or not knowing the things that we go through in the hoods. That You know what I'm saying? He from the bottom. He was just down 6 in Chesapeake, man. Right hey, down there. He down pull s- up every time. He you know what I'm saying? Up. I hate when people criticize him like he bulletproof or something. Like nah. He not a superhero. This ain't Batman series where a superhero going to come in and save the day and take a bullet for somebody. Yeah. It's, the, it's the after effect of trying to actually do good and actually trying to help. You feel mm. me? So yeah. Yeah, y'all. So yeah, man. Yeah, we're gonna wrap yeah. this up though, man. We jogging tired right here though. Yeah, I gotta, you get, know up, gotta get up early. Yeah, I gotta get up early too, man. So yeah. Y'all tell me what y'all think about the show. Don't forget to man subscribe. It's your boy Dan V Hoods yes, News. Sir. It's the Hoods and News show and we are gone. Shout out to my boy down. Kendall Washington. Kill yeah. man. We out this mother we out this motherfucker, man. Shout out Kendall, man. Yeah. Yeah. All that. Class of 24. Oh, this motherfucker. Ugly as shit.